Okay guys, uh, this is a fix for the airbags uh, faults called on a Passat uh, 2006 B6 uh, Agua fault uh, with uh, both sides, passenger side and driver side and this is the driver side that I'm fixing and uh, apparently the fix worked and um, I didn't change any connectors or or, or put the, the wires you know together with with, with a connector or, or something just uh, I thought it was just one wire that it wasn't uh, no connection and uh, I fixed it by uh, putting a pin inside first the pin uh, it was used you know to to be able to uh, check the connection and uh, with the pin inside the connection it was working uh, so I decided to leave the, the pin inside I wrap some uh, cello tape to keep the pin inside properly and, uh, and that's it that's uh, uh, the fix worked you know and I checked you know uh, with the OBD2 uh, uh, tester and uh, the, the fault is gone uh, now is uh, only got one fault left. Uh, that's the, the passenger side, but we'll do the same thing, testing if uh, it's just one connection faulty. Fix the connection with the pin, uh, and that's it. You know, I will uh, keep you update. Okay, I will show you now the the tights that you need undo to take the the plug out. So that is one, you need to open this, uh, uh, what do you call it, it well, it's a tight the, to keep the plug uh, in a firm. There is the, the other one, so if you un unplug this two, you know, the, you'll be able to pull out. Then this is on the back of the main plug, on the back is uh, it's got like a plastic plug that goes inside the, uh, the metal frame, so that needs to be pulled out as well. So that's it. So you need that tight on the right, that one on the left, and to pull this out. And this one is the, and this one you need to slide it this way on the right hand side. If you slide that, you know, the plug it comes apart. And then you'll be able to test, you know, the wires for connection okay okay the first steps you know to undo the chair this is uh, one bolt and there is the second bolt this is on the front of the chair okay first bolt done undo Second bolt to do. Now I slide the, the chair to the front and uh, do the other two bolts on the back. Okay, this is uh, the, the bolts on the back. That's one. And that's the other one on the other sides. Okay, I need to undo these two bolts. Uh, 
that's it. Once the bolt is out, they clear the gable to fall back, ready to fix. Okay, there we are. This is uh, one of the co connector, but this it was okay. This connector, the last one, and that is the the connector that I expected to be fault. So I will test it <coughs> and see if there's any wires. You know, it's not contacting. So I checked this connector, the first one, and it was a bit loose. So. I think I will check this connector first in just in case is this connector because I just didn't like you know the, the way it looks so I'm gonna check test this connector with the pin okay to check the connector this uh, this purple plastic things this is the one is gonna come in out so it's gonna show you uh, the bare wires so you can test them you know, if, then after you have to connect it and test you know, the, the two connections if the things continuity in all the wires okay okay uh, I just lift uh, the purple connector you see you take it off and uh, now it will show you okay there is the connectors so you need to test for continuity Okay, I put the I put the pin into the white connector. That is the first uh, wire I will I will test, and there is uh, the wires you know showing on the other side, so I'll be able to connect connect it in, a, in to check you know for continuity. Okay, this connector is being checked for continuity and uh, unfortunately for me, the wires, they seem fine, the continuity is fine, so I will go into the second plug now. Okay, there we are, this is the, the second plug on the, on the, the chair. Okay, as you can see, uh, there is the pin, this is the pin that I put on the other side and it is on the white wire, because it's three wire, it's a white, a green and a brown one. And uh, with the multimeter, with the multimeter, uh, it will go one on these sides, on these sides where I can see the the wires on the other sides, and then one on the pin. Okay, another thing so you can do as well while you. On it is to clean these uh, three holes in here in one of the con uh, connectors. So just uh, with uh, with a pin, just go inside and just make sure that it's uh, so like just in case it get a bit rusty or dirty or anything, and just put a bit of uh, electrical cleaner if you got any to spray some of that, and they will keep uh, lubrificating and, uh, and clean. Okay, I found uh, the white wire, the contact, it was intermittently. Okay, so there is a connector. I found that that's the connector, the white wire. It was intermittently, you know, making contacts. So I put the pin inside and I'm gonna tape a cutter, the head off of the pin, just leave it just enough so I can put some cello tape, you know, to keep the pin nicely together. And that's it, that should be fixed the problem. That's it, I mean, uh, I had two faults in there and a clear one, and uh, it just uh, show me that, I'm just focusing in here, and uh, it should show me that I had the one fault in there and uh, I managed to clear the fault and now I don't got no faults now. If you see read faults in there, no code that's stored in the module. The both faults I had is all gone. Excellent. And uh, that's it. To the next videos. Thank you very much.